So this is a new pogo plug. That's correct. And you're the company doing pogo plug? Yes. Cloud Engines is the company based in San Francisco that makes the pogo plug. And today we announced, just, just tonight, at Showstoppers at IFA in Berlin, Germany, a brand new device, which is called Pogo Plug Mobile. For people who are familiar with our, our previous company and our, our previous products, the original Pogo Plug was a much bigger device, had four USB ports on the back, has a cable management system, and is really focused more on networking and a, and a mass consumer audience for uh, almost like a consumer remote access NAS. Yeah. This uh, device is yeah. really targeted at mobile users. And so what, what's happened here is that we've, uh, we've redeveloped the form factor and built a new, new style to the device. Yeah. There's uh, one USB port on the back, one SD card slot. This is the first time we've had an SD card slot on the device. And there's two use cases we're really targeting. One of them is streaming. So I plug this in at my house and I add a, a hard drive. It could be a flash drive like this or it could be a two terabyte uh, external hard drive, doesn't matter. But however much uh, music and content I have on there, I can stream it to my mobile phone. So I can go in a jukebox and this is all the music that I have on my pogo plug back at home in San Francisco, California. And even though we're here in Berlin, Germany, I can still stream all the music that I have, and I'm not just limited to the 16 gigabytes or whatever that's on this device. So this is now streaming. I don't know if you can hear it because it's so noisy in here. The speaker somewhere. Yeah. yeah, it's right there. Hmm. And then the other. So that's one use case. So is that the special app you made? You didn't have it before, or is it the same app you had already? This, this is an updated version of our app. It's a brand new version of the app. Um, it works very similar to the old one. But the other thing it can do, the other thing it can do is I can take these photos and I can actually upload them to my Pogo Plug mobile um, from wherever I am. So the two use cases really are one, to be able to stream all my content from my home to my device. The other one is to take all the photos and videos I take with my device and send them back to my home. So with this, uh, this you made it cheaper as well? Yes. Is that this, one of the features that here? Is, that's exactly right. So in addition to being a smaller form factor and a little bit less complex, this is more like you put it in a drive and you stick it under your desk and don't worry about it. Yeah. This is now $79.99 US dollars, 59 euros, 59 pounds. And so if you think, uh, think the way we think of it is you go into an O2 store you get a new iPhone, you probably buy a new case for your iPhone, maybe you get a new Bluetooth headset, you could also buy a Pogo Plug mobile. And use your existing external hard drive and connect everything to your phone. That's exactly right. So basically you're streaming right now from your home in where? In San Francisco, California. Easy, like Here that. to Berlin, Germany, over 3G. And the music played like that. It's like more than three quarters the other side of the planet. That's right. And it just works. And like everywhere, anywhere you are, you add two terabytes. As long as you have a 3G or a Wi-Fi connection, yes. It just works. So how fast is this device? You, you basically, you just need to be fast enough to stream one music file. You can also do video. How much video you... also. And so there's a lot of, a lot of things going on underneath the hood that we do here, including video transcoding. So it doesn't matter how big of a video file you had on your hard drive, it doesn't matter what format, it could be AVI, WMV, MP4, it doesn't make any difference. We will transcode it and compress it into an appropriate format for the device you're on. So if you're on an iPad, we have an iPad app, if you're on an iPad, we'll give you a slightly better version because you have a bigger screen. If you're on a, an Android phone and you only have a three inch screen, we can give you a very compressed file, it'll stream very quickly, no starts and stops, it'll stream well. Can you choose how much quality you want? Yes. Or is it automatic? No, no, you can choose how much quality you want. And the same thing goes when you're sending back. If I take a photo, it'll stream, it'll send that photo back to my home and it'll send the original high quality photo. It'll also, on the phone, make a smaller version of that photo and send it back too. And then, when I want to stream that later, if I share it with you and you're going to stream my photo from my home to your phone, it'll send you the small one because it's much quicker and much easier. That's all you need to be able to look at on here. Nice. So it does some transcoding, some encoding of pictures, video. And that's only the new version and this, right? Correct. Because the previous version did not do video transcoding, no? 
It depends on the... No, it, the simple answer is no. The previous version did not. And you support any hard drive? N any hard drive and any format. It's like NTFS, FAT32. You don't need to reformat your drive. You just plug it in and we make it work. Can you use a USB hub and have four hard drives? Yes, you can. Yes. And if you have a hard drive that has an extra power cable, this is a, this USB port is is overpowered, so it's it'll powered. actually power a yeah, yeah exactly. So it'll power a a double cable hard drive, even yeah. though it's only got one port. How about the reset? Does it sometimes crash and you have to reset? What's the reset thing for? Uh, like any there's a there's a little Linux computer inside here. Yeah. Like any computer, sometimes you need to reset. But I've I've had my Pogo plug for three years, and I've never needed to use the reset button. Does it automatically update the software inside? Or? Yes, we uh, we send out automatic updates to the software. But new products, new features, usually about four times a year, once a quarter. Four times a year. New bug fixes uh, on the fly. When when the fix when there needs a fix, we send a fix. Awesome. Are people hacking your Pogo plugs and doing alternative? We do. Us? We do have uh, a, community? A, a community of developers that, that are interested in, in developing on on What Pogo are they Plug. doing that you're not supporting? You, you know, the the best way to answer that, I, I, there's too many things to really go into on camera. If you go to Pogo Plugged. Dot com, p o g o p l u g g e d. dot com. That's our user community, and there's a developer community in there as well. Go on and, and see what's available. Do they do some BitTorrent auto download stuff? All, all kinds of different scripts. Oh, do you do that also? You don't do it. We we don't offer that natively, but there there have been hacks that have been made for that. Cool.